We're back with another episode from the kitchen. Let's make an old blood type meal. Come on. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Butts and I'm a doctor of dental surgery. And this channel is all about health and wellness for you to be healthy and wealthy. And today we're doing one of my favorite segments. We're back in my kitchen, all right? And I'm making another, another old blood type meal, okay? Because I didn't make any other meals yet. I, I need a friend to make an A, A, B, and a B meal with me. That's what I'm gonna need. So we're gonna invite somebody to help us cook soon right but for right now this is oh i got this all right so let's just look at some of the foods that i'm taking okay so uh garam marcella is gonna go all in there so i have my liver grass-fed liver and some grass-fed um but it's got a lot of fat in it this would be great for a hamburger hamburger meat okay uh everything is organic now i live near at whole foods right and jack was was he was not believing me okay but i had this much garlic left I had this much, all right? But I had, I had some extra garlic, I did, uh-huh. I had, I had these garlics. I had these right here, all right? Now Jack said, okay, cool, man, let's go. And I said, no, no, Jack, we can't go because these are not organic, or at least USDA approved organic, right? So I needed it. Jack said, no, seriously, man, we're just making a video. I said, yeah, man, but I'm gonna eat this, and you're gonna eat some too, Jack, I'm gonna, feed us, man. So when you can take the extra steps, I, I take the extra steps when I can to eat better. So I I'm not even going to give these away. Maybe I'll give these away. Sure. Some someone's going to eat this, but it's not going in this meal because we got the organic. All right. So my very good friend, I, I had him on the show. Uh, he's an artist. His name is Jose Wu. He's my best friend. Uh, I, I told him how I was going to do it. And he said, yeah. He's like, hit me with the science, brother. Tell, tell me what you're going to do. I said, yeah, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna saute the, the onions and the garlic. Onions first, then the garlic. Get those nice flavor going, right? And then I'm gonna throw the meat in. He's like, yeah. And then I said, then I'm gonna saute the liver on another thing and then chop it up and put it in there. He said, uh-huh, yeah. But this is what he said to do. He said, okay, if you take five more minutes, if you just do this five more minutes more, you'll get a better result. He said, thinly slice the liver, which feels crazy, okay? He said thinly slice the liver and cook it all together. I said, oh my God, that might be delicious because I am definitely gonna flavor up this liver so that it's good. And liver, uh, we're gonna show all of the benefits of grass-fed liver, we're gonna talk about that. Um, but liver is so good for you. So slicing it up, and getting it cooking. I'm gonna cook the, the ground beef first, and then when it's almost done, then I'm gonna throw the sliced pieces of liver in there so everything cooks to about a medium, and then we're gonna throw it over some white rice. It's gonna be delicious. All right, so this is my white onion right here. I really love a variety of onions. I think they're good for the cardiovascular system, and I like the way they taste. And um, they say it's the core that makes you cry. That's what, ah, so you know, I usually use a Teflon, a Teflon coated pan, right? And why was I scouring the internet or just I was on the internet and it was like, remember, Teflon gets into your food and it's not good for you. Again, that Southern thing came out. I don't know where that came from, y'all. My apologies. Anyway. Fair enough, fine. Teflon's no good, great. I happen, happen to have a cast iron skillet that my mom gave me. That's right, Barbara Butts coming through. Thank you so much, mama, all right? So they're saying, oh, it's just a little Teflon. It's just a little, it's just a little GMO, Jeff. No problem, we can take it. Our bodies can take it. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, maybe we can. And we do, we do all the time because if you eat out in a restaurant, more than likely, more than likely, that food is, you know, it's got some stuff. They're, they're making fake meat, y'all. Okay, they're making fake meat. And they're selling it to us, unbeknownst to us. All right, now the onion is kind of getting to me a little bit. It's getting to me. 
because I cut the cord. I cut the cord. And um, any chefs, any chefs can see that I am not really a chef by the way I cut. You, you can tell. You can tell, and that's okay. Oh, it's, it's in my eyes again. Uh, yeah. But this is what I do for you guys, all right? My suffering is for you so that you can make a, a delicious, healthy, nutritious, fun meal that doesn't take too long for yourself. Garlic is like one of my favorites, one of my favorites for sure. And I saw somebody do this garlic hack. It looked like a garlic hack. And it was so cool. Didn't look like this at all. Not at all, nope. What I just did, nope. I don't remember them doing this either. I don't remember that. All I know is that the garlic fell out of the skin, like easily. And, and it didn't happen for me. It, that did not happen for me. So I'm, I'm, I'm still peeling garlic. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, if you can leave a comment or, uh, yeah, uh, share a video on how to cut up vegetables faster, that would be great. We're trying to optimize time and um, that would just be great. We're gonna get to the liver later, guys. We're gonna cut that up. Ooh, what's that? I, I got the gloves on because I'm planning there to be uh, <laughs> a little murder. You know, a little murder. I mean, it's already a bloody mess over here. But the, the liver, so good for us. Jack, you gotta, uh, you gotta have that thing. We could use uh, Morgan Freeman's voice. Liver is a nutritional powerhouse loaded with vitamins that support skin, vision, immunity, aids nerve function and energy, DNA and red blood cells, brain health, muscle function and guards against cell damage. Including liver in your diet ensures you get these vital nutrients promoting overall health and well-being. I'm adding apple cider vinegar to it. Yeah, yeah. And you know what else I'm doing? I'm putting some agave nectar to it. Oh no, gonna make it sweet. Sweet. Mm, 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 mm. And, and I'm still gonna, I'm gonna season it. Got some time. And everything needs a little time. Not just time as in it takes time, but time, the spice, time. Got some coriander, got some turmeric. And I'm just basically putting the kitchen sink in here, y'all. Iodized sea salt in my cast iron skillet. Oh yeah. Mom will be proud of me for using this. Cayenne pepper. You can tell that I love garlic, right? If you don't know me by now, you would never, 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 never know. I love garlic, oh so. Garam masala. Oh, that's the garam. That's the what? And now we're adding. All you ever wanted was flavor, right? That, that's all anyone ever really wants, right? Just some flavor, something they can count on, something they can say, you know what, I'm gonna eat good, I'm gonna eat my blood type, and it's gonna have some flavor in it. Like Jeff Butts made it or something like that. Like, you can make this yourself. You can make this yourself. Hey, let me get a thumbs up in the comment section below if you see this. One day, you know what, what guys, we're gonna do this live. One day, I'm gonna do this live. You're gonna see exactly how long it is with all that, without all that slick editing that Jack's got going on. Slick editing, Jack. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this down because I wanna add the liver. It feels slimy, y'all, for real. What's a good liver cutting knife? I don't know. Oh, that does not feel good. That does not feel good at all. When I say that feels just horrible. <laughs> it feels terrible. <laughs> this was a terrible idea. <laughs> 
No, no, don't, no, it does not feel good. Whew, doesn't cut very well, more like tears it. And I don't know what, what would be a nice knife to cut it with, thin slices of liver. What was I thinking? <laughs> what, what was I, th I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm not, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not, okay, because that, that was horrible. That felt horrible. That did not feel good, all right? But it's going in, all right? Blood and all, okay? Let's make it happen, Captain. Let's make it happen. And I'm gonna saute the smack out of that, too. Lots of garlic. Lots of garlic. Let's get that turmeric back in the game. You know, we're gonna get that time. Gonna get that time back. Like when the clocks fall back. Oh. I think that only happens in America. This is an international program, so I guess the top clocks don't go back everywhere. But in America, when the clocks go back, it gets dark at like five o'clock, something like that. Other countries know about that stuff. And um, I feel like when the clocks go back, they fall back, I feel like we get a little bit more time. Just a little bit of relaxedness. Still putting that graham sauce on it. Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta turn it on. I'm gonna turn that on for us. So it's gonna actually start cooking. All right, I went too far. I'll put a little salt on it. And I'm going back in with the cayenne. All right. And then I'm gonna flip it. Oh, and that does get hot. That's good. That's good to know. That gets hot. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. And now, there's going to be something. Beef and liver. Ground beef and liver. What? All we want it to do is taste good, though. Be nutritious. This hamburger helper on steroids. That's what it is. I just helped this hamburger meat with all of the love that I had inside of me to give. All of it. I used it all, y'all. I got no more. Here's a little butter. A little buttery love. Coming up. Coming at you. Because the fat is the flavor. Did the non-Teflon and we like it. Where's the beef? It's right here. Right here. Guys, I've never made this before, but now I have made it. Liver with ground beef, all organic, what? And Jack is going to try it. Now he's doing carnivore. He's doing carnivore, so, you know. Bless us, O Lord, and these kiss which back to seed the night of Christ, O Lord, amen. And I hope he likes it. Go ahead. I don't know what that is. It could be liver. I don't know. I don't know, Jack. Is a... That's definitely liver. Yeah? Mixing it with ground beef is a good idea. Okay. I got that from Jose Awu. Be honest. We'll be honest. There's a tiny bit more salt. We'll see, I was salting it for the world. I didn't want the world to be like, God, he has a lot of salt. <laughs> you know, I didn't want the world to say that. Are you vegans? Try this. You know what I'm saying? Just one time. Can I say Watch it, Jack? How you feel. Let me see. Can I say it? <laughs> I want to say it. How do you know you don't like meat unless you've tasted it? Right? How do you know? Well, maybe they tried meat and then they went to a veganism. Mmm, maybe. Because All they right. realized that it was murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then they go eat them poor little plants. They don't want to be eaten either. They don't want to be eaten. They scream, but you just can't hear it. <laughs> I mean, guys, eat well, no matter what you do. And please know that as long as you are cooking the food yourself, you do know 100% exactly what has gone into the food. Trust your grocer. Um, trust yourself. Trust your instincts in order to buy the best ingredients for you and put them together 
and make some flavors so that you can enjoy eating in a mindful way. And you know, you get up from the meal, you should have energy. If you eat a meal and, and you go down after the meal, well then that probably wasn't good for you. But if you eat a meal and you feel energized, like you're like, oh man, let's take a walk, which is what we really should do after this, that's what you do. All right, get your energy, get your nutrient, take care of yourself, take care of other people, take care of yourself first because you can't give your broken self to anyone. You just can't, all right? So you saw me make it, you saw Jack eat it, that's good, he said it's okay. I've never made this before, the, the lamb with the beef, what? But I thought I'd freak it out because lamb is so good for you. I got something to eat for lunch tomorrow. I'll probably get about three or four meals out of this. And I know that each one of those meals is gonna be exactly what my body needs in order to get the nutrients that it needs to move on to all of those different next sections, next systems, next pieces of time, y'all. All right, so thank you so much for watching. You've been amazing. Um, please like and subscribe. Please uh, send this video to a friend, all right? Uh, save this video so you can Wait, make the meal yourself. What? Is, is this ground lamb or ground beef? That's ground beef. Okay, you said lamb. Oh. With the beef. Liver. I meant liver. Oh, okay. okay. I meant liver. Ground liver. Well, no, liver, not ground liver. Regular liver. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Um, With ground beef. Yes. Liver with the ground beef. Yes. Yes. Hello. Right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk about some other things in the next video.